Pretzels on the move. 600 people in 16 states and three countries now at risk, exposed by just one person with a highly contagious virus. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. Tonight we're learning more about Tennessee's first case, first reported last Thursday. The patient is in Knox County, but the state won't say exactly where. We also know he was infected while in another country where there is a measles epidemic, but it's unclear when the man arrived back in the U.S. That's right. Now, we've also learned there's a Mississippi connection. That state's health department says the man was contagious when he went to two fast food restaurants April 9th and 10th. The next day, he left Hattiesburg, Mississippi and arrived in East Tennessee on the 11th. His rash appeared on the 13th, but his first blood test came back negative for measles. And today, health experts are telling hospitals to prepare for measles cases with an isolation area because they expect more. It's so contagious, in fact, that one can be in a room and cough or sneeze, and the virus can actually stay active and viable for an hour or two after the person leaves the room. Nationwide, the number of measles cases now stands at 626. It includes some people who thought they were protected. It turns out people vaccinated in the late 60s, 70s, and 80s may not have immunity because of the best, or because of the way, rather, vaccines were administered. If you are unsure, contact your doctor about getting another dose.